What's going on? Louise here. Today we're doing the HM2010 generating a mid surface and HM2020 simplifying geometry. Um, mid surfaces are often used when you want to model something in uh, something thin in 2D, like a sheet metal or a composite structure, and that can save a lot of time comparing to a full 3D model. In the second part of the tutorial, we're going to be uh, removing some details of our geometry as sometimes they might not be necessary in the, in the analysis and by removing them, we can achieve a better quality mesh and run it much faster. So let's get to it. First, open the clip uh, mid-surface HM file, then change the visualization to shaded and change the geometry mode to mixed. In the geom page, go to mid surface and check that we have the auto mid surface and the closed solid options active. Um, then click anywhere in the model and hypermesh selected, select it all, then extract. In the model, we see that a new component named middle surface was created containing our mid surface. And if we look closer, see that the initial level 10 component is now kind of transparent. To change the transparency, we click on this icon and adjust the level of transparency moving the slider. If we want to hide this component altogether, remember we can turn geometric features on and off through the model tree by clicking on this icon. Now let's move on to the second part of the tutorial. Um, start a new model, click yes, go on and open the clip underline the feature HM file. Let's turn the geometry of the level 10 component off. In fact, it is already turned off because we are only working with the mid surface now. Set the shaded view mode and let's generate a mesh for the mid surface. Go to the 2D page, Auto Mesh panel. The entity selector is already set to surfs. Then select, set the element size to 2.5, and we can choose the mesh type right here. We could make quads, trias, mixed, right triangles, quads only, and more, but we're gonna leave it as mixed. Change from interactive to automatic. Verify that the elements to surf components is active and select all surfaces. Finally, click Mesh and check the Mesh Preview. To accept it, click Return. A very important step in any finite element analysis is to check the quality of your mesh based on some, um, on some metrics, uh, but we're not going to fix everything in this tutorial, just leave you aware of that. So go to the Tools, pa tools page, Click on Check Elements. Make sure we're in the 2D subpanel. And if we click on Length, for example, Hypermesh highlights all elements which have any dimensions smaller than the value set, in this case, 1. Um, the status bar displays 29% of the elements failed this check, but usually the main metrics for mesh quality would be skewness and Jacobian. And if we select skewness, for example, and rotate around a little bit, we see that we have some pretty bad elements over here, here uh, that would have uh, would need a remesh. But as I said, we're not going uh, not going to do that today. Let's see these small holes over there. As we zoom in, we see that our mesh does not capture our geometry there, and the elements are not so good. Uh, depending on the analysis, these pinholes might be might not be required. So let's pretend that is the case and remove them. Go to the geom page, click the feature. The pinhole subpanel is selected, so set the diameter field to 3.0. Select the all surfs and click on find. So Hypermesh looks for every pinhole with a diameter or of 3.0 or less and shows them with an XP. Click delete so they are removed and the mash updates to fill their space automatically. 
The status bar shows we have deleted 51 elements. Let's also remove all the surface fillets and pretend the bands are all in angle and not filleted. Check the Surf Fillets subpanel. Below Find Fillets and Select it. Select the displayed surfaces. Set the minimum radius to 2.0 and click Find. Hypermesh highlights all fillets with a radius of 2 or greater. So go ahead and click Remove. We can now see that all bands are in an angle. Last thing, let's identify and remove the rounded corners. So remove, uh, move to the edge fillets sub panel, select the displayed surfs, set the minimum radius to 1.0 and click find. Hypermesh will find all corners with a radius greater than 1 and display an F symbol at their location. With the fillet selector active, right click on any fillet and that deselects it and in case we wanted to keep that one. But we'll remove them all, so left click on it again and click remove. And that completes our tutorial for today. We're mainly going to be dealing with geometry in the next ones, so stay tuned, subscribe, give it a thumbs up because that helps a lot and I'll see you in the next one.